guest. Is a, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Jennifer Grey is a young actress who starred opposite Patrick Swayze in a, in a big hit for both of them called Dirty Dancing. And she has a much uh, heavier role coming up on NBC next week in a miniseries called Murder in uh, Mississippi, which is based on the uh, 1964 killing of the three young civil rights workers in that state. Uh, the first episode airs this Monday night at 9. Would you welcome Jennifer Grey? Jennifer! <laughs> Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, my heart. Is yours like pounding like a lab rabbit? Let me just... Help stop. <laughs> How do you do this, man? Usually during the monologue, it starts and just goes completely haywire. That's what they say to do. Take, oh, hi there. Take three hi big, there. deep breaths. How are you? I'm good. How are I've you? known your father. I don't know how many people know this, but your father is Joel Gray. And I've known Joel for years. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, he told me he was on the show. He, I said, you know, what should I talk about? What should I do? He yeah. said... Did he give you some advice or something? Well, you know, he said, well, I don't know what you should do. Last time I was there, I went out and sang a ballad in a tuxedo with no pants. Yeah? I was like, uh-huh. But you can't do that. Well, no. Were you folks... Did Carl has got uh, children, about Rob, of course, in the, uh, the entertainment business. Were your folks happy when you wanted to go into it, or did they kind of fight it? Because a lot of people do, because you have to learn to fight rejection, and unless you have the talent, they're going to say they'd rather you go another direction. Well, it's, it's very hard. It's a very hard business, and if you're in it, you know how difficult it can be. Right. So I, I think the idea of putting your kids in that situation is, you know, little... it's tricky. And it is hard, but at least, like, they, I knew what I was getting into, so yeah. I had what's no first, What's the first thing you did? Well, I did, um, I was an understudy off-Broadway. Really? Yeah, in a play called Album. And then I was in a movie called Reckless with Daryl Hannah and Aidan Quinn. Right. And I did Cotton Club. I played Nicolas Cage's wife. And I did uh, American Flyers. Yeah. Did you pick up your dancing from uh, a lot of from your dad? Well, I, that was the only thing I was allowed to do when I was a kid. I was only allowed to dance. I wasn't allowed to act. I, they said, OK, if you want to be an actress, you just have to take dance classes, go to school. And that right. was it. You know, I wasn't really allowed to go out there and do it. Were your parents it. strict? They were really liberal. I had, like, the groovy parents that every kid wanted. You know, they were very cool. And they were like, God, you're so great. You know, your, your parents are so cool and great. And then, you know, of course, I had adolescence and kind of changed. You know, all the rules changed all of a sudden. It was like, yeah. who? What? Oh, when, when you bring guys I think I'm home, having a heart attack. What do you mean? You they know? check your dates out when they, brought, when they brought them home, you mean? He terrified. My dad terrified my dates. What is that? Why do fathers do that with daughters? They don't do it with, with sons, do they? Well, why do Son you goes out and they say, hey, go out and have a good time. And all of a sudden, as soon as you have a daughter. <laughs> different, right? <laughs> Quite different. Protective. Yeah. Very. I think most sons can have children, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Probably deep thought there, yeah. <laughs> is this, this role coming up is, is a kind of a departure, isn't it? I mean, this is uh, well, based on a... Uh, of course, Gene Hackman did a, a kind of a version of this, but I guess it was more... Uh, if not based on actual facts, right, in Mississippi burning. Well, this is more about the civil rights activists themselves right. instead of, you know, the FBI agents. And I think this is, a, from what I've heard from the people who were alive then, you know, this is more close to the facts. This is really dealing with, you know, what it was like for these civil rights workers. And it's about the people who fought for it. Yeah. So it's, it's great to be able to be a part of something that means something that is, that is important, I think. Yeah. You know? Of course, you were young, very young at that time, or we were not even around when all that happened, well, I was marches around. and so forth. I you were... was four, 1964. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a good actress? You like it? I mean. Am I good? Yeah. Well, I mean. They, so somebody said you, when somebody asks you that, you should always say yes. Yes. <laughs> right. Jimmy yes. Cagney always says, "Can you dance?" He'd say, oh, "I'm a great dancer." Then he'd go learn to dance. In other yeah. words, if you're in the entertainment business, can you right. sing? They say, "Oh yeah, I can sing well." Then go learn how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So what's coming up for you after this? Well, um, I'm in the middle of something right now, and I can't talk about it today, but... You got a boyfriend? Or is that a silly question? Well, I'm trying to stay single. Do you know what that's like? No. <laughs> mm. Word is not in my vocabulary. Well... I mean, while you're working, you mean you want to stay single? Yes. Am I allowed to ask a question? As Certainly. A guest? Dirty Dancing was, you know, I just adored Dirty right. Dancing. And you did it so well. Now that the... Yes, but now that the Lombata is here, the shouldn't Lombata. she be doing a movie about the Lombata with your, your Bata? 
I think you're supposed to be a Spanish. A Spanish to do that. I think it's in a Spanish. Oh, but anybody can started, no, on. but then it went to Paris. Now it's caught on here. But that's not a dance. That, that's, you can be arrested for most of that stuff. <laughs> that's a, I think that's a 502 or something like that. <laughs> you, you were doing this. We, got, we have time for the clip. We got a, a small clip from the show coming up? Yes, sir. It's a good one. Does Anita set up at all? No, sir. Just finds clip. Okay, watch the monitor. Here's a clip from your upcoming thing that starts on NBC. It took 17 calls to get the water back on. How many do you think it's going to take for the electricity? I don't care if they turn it all off. But we're not leaving. Oh, God. No. You know what I could go for right now? What? A Sabrette's hot dog. Oh! And an egg cream. Oh, oh! <laughs> I would trade, I know, I would trade four egg creams and two Sabrette's hot dogs for one hot pastrami sandwich. Oh, God, with mustard? Oh! Actually, you know what I'd settle for at this point? Mm. I'd settle mm. for just one person being nice to me, just one person smiling at me. Yeah. You know what I miss the most? Mm. Pigeons. Pigeons! <laughs> I do. <laughs> I miss pigeons, the little dirty feet tap dancing on the windowsill. I'm not married to a pigeon lover. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this is the type of that loving Jew that almost got run over today. Well, that was just a warning to get your sorry butt out of town. Another one. You are good at this. You are good. I think we should clear something up. I mentioned. I was confused because uh, this is not a miniseries, is it? No, it's just one night. It's just one night, guys. Yeah, it's Monday night. It's on Monday night. It says here the first episode. It's not a miniseries on NBC. It's 9 o'clock on NBC Monday night, right? All right. Wish you good luck with it. Oh, thanks a lot. We'll be right back. Here we are.